University of Missouri students are out and about this evening as they celebrate the end of another school year. We have been following ongoing events in downtown Columbia all evening as students celebrate Senior Sendoff, Stop Day, and Cinco de Mayo. ABC 17's Marina Diaz is joining us live in downtown Columbia tonight. Marina, you have been down there all evening. How's it been? Morgan Lucas, University of Missouri students are out in full force this evening. And I've been out here since about four this afternoon and I have seen CPD officers patrolling all around the city as well as East Campus where I was where I was earlier this evening. And those officers are looking for anybody that may be driving while intoxicated as well as underage drinking. I spoke with a few MU students earlier this afternoon and they told me that they are glad to see the officers out. This is my it's, favorite weekend. This of the is year. the best weekend of the year. University of Missouri students Ellie Dapier and Sammy Hickey are just two of the thousands of college students celebrating the end of another school year, and for some, the end of their college career. And while they are enjoying all the festivities happening throughout downtown Columbia, they told me that they will not be driving at all this weekend. I will not bring my car out probably once this weekend. Nope. Um, probably Try to just, save my gas anyway. <laughs> yeah, Uber or walking because I'm pretty close. So yeah, and it's a good thing that they are planning ahead. The Columbia Police Department is using grant money to enforce DWIs and underage drinking, as well as keep students and the community safe. MU student Itai Dean said he is glad to see the department helping out. I think it's great. Like. I saw an ambulance come by because someone kind of passed out, which it's unfortunate they passed out, but at the same time it's good that CPD can come through and make those calls, make those, you know, changes to help people stay healthy, not get hurt, and, you know, keep everyone safe. That's what's the most important thing. Morgan Lucas, CPD's enforcement period started yesterday and will continue throughout Saturday. Reporting live in Columbia, Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Marina. Hopefully everyone stays safe. The department is asking people to plan ahead, especially if you are planning on drinking at all this weekend. Columbia police say a Kansas City man who is currently on probation for attempted second-degree murder in Kansas in 2020 is back behind bars. 22-year-old Jayshad Salisbury was charged this afternoon for his alleged involvement in a high-speed chase yesterday afternoon. This chase began on Clark Lane. Salisbury eventually stopped near Primrose Drive and Sunflower Street after the car he was driving blew a tire. Police say they found oxycodone on Salisbury and he had multiple rounds of bullets in the trunk. Court documents say 